A Korean War veteran's mobile home in Waimama was destroyed during Hurricane Ian. Now the 94-year-old veteran is in desperate need of some help he hasn't been able to get, so he's turning to aid on your side for that help. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us from Waimama with the story. Nathaniel Washington is in desperate need of help and a bed. Hurricane Ian left him with a roof caving in, the siding blown off, and mold and mildew. 94-year-old Nathaniel Washington rode out Hurricane Ian from his mobile home in Waimama. Well, I can't continue to stay here. Sleeping on his couch while the roof in his bedroom caves in, filled with mold and mildew. Well, no help at all. Washington has seen some dark days serving in the Army as a Korean War veteran. He fought in this war. This is his first time he told me that he is scared. Scared of the roof toppling onto him. Washington's cousin Jackie Brown says the family first turned to FEMA for help. I took him last week to the FEMA Disaster Recovery Center in Brandon, Florida, and I was told that there were no vouchers available. Brown says FEMA recommended to bring Washington to a shelter in Hardy County. He mistakenly said he had insurance when in fact he does not. By now, the Red Cross knows, uh, the VA knows, these are all people that I've made contact with. Um, you name it, I've called them, I've written. With no response, the situation has become more dire by the day. Both FEMA and the Red Cross are recommending Nathaniel Washington go to a shelter where there are caseworkers that can help him. We are still working to get him answers and the help he so desperately needs. Reporting from Waimama, Brittany Muller, 8 on your side.